Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to be taking a look at the autosave feature in Adobe Premiere Pro and some of the best practices you can use when making videos. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so if you're watching this video, there's a very strong chance that you've typed into Google, where are Adobe Premiere autosave files? And the reason for that is probably you've been editing a video and it's crashed or something's happened and it's all gone badly wrong and you just want to step back a few steps and actually have all your footage or maybe it's just disappeared from the timeline, something along those lines, but basically you want to get that auto save feature. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at Adobe Premiere, look at the auto save feature, look at some custom settings for it. We're going to find out where the files are actually located or where you can locate them and hopefully try and make your video editing experiences just a little bit easier. So let's go to the computer and let's get started. Okay, so to start with, this is my uh, YouTube videos, my work in progress folder. Now I would suggest first of all, obviously if you've come here just looking to see where your autosave files are, this isn't gonna be particularly helpful, but this is a good practice in my opinion to do to actually make finding the files in the future a lot easier and also to manage your workflow a little bit. So to start with, this is my work in progress folder. If I go up a level, so you can see this is my YouTube videos folder, which is on a separate hard disk, not on the main C drive. And I like to keep all this a little bit separate. So I've got my Elgato capture. So things that I capture my Elgato card go in there. I've got my finished projects, which I can refer back to and grab footage from. I've got my OBS folder, which has got my OBS streams and other recordings. And actually the recording that I'm doing now on this screen is being done in OBS. Uh, if you want a tutorial on that, let me know in the description below and I'll see if I can do one for you. Uh, here is my reusable assets folder. So in there is sort of brand logos, stingers, all those kinds of things that I use on a regular basis. And this is the important one. This is my work in progress folder. So if we go into work in progress and inside this, you'll see I've got my individual folders for projects that I'm currently working on or have been working on. And also I've got some footage, which I've just thrown on there as part of kind of like my ingest area. Also, I've got my three templates. So these are for the various versions of Adobe Premiere that I've been using. So for each of my projects, I have my own profile or project version. So this is my video template for 2020, the current version of Adobe Premiere. So if I open this up now, um, we'll look at the autosave feature. Now what you'll actually also notice before we go into that is in this corner here, I've got my Adobe Premiere Pro reviews, uh, previews rather. There's my autosave folder. So that's like a generic autosave folder and also there's kind of rendering areas and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, you get the general idea. We'll have a look at that a little bit closer in a second. So if we open up uh, the 2020 version of Premiere Pro. So this is how I normally start a project. So I've got some of my default things set up. So I've got my uh, logo, my intro, pop sounds, fast whooshes, all those kinds of things. And this is my general layout, which I, I generally like to work with. So it's a, essentially it is a template. But what I can do now, the first thing to do is when you're making a new project, first thing to do, do file and then do save as. And then for me, I would create a new folder in my work in progress folder. So for this instance, I'm going to call it test. So create a new folder, which you click on here. So actually I'll do another one. So we call this test two and go into test two and then type in a new name for the file. So we'll call this test two. So if we click on save now, so now this entire project is completely separate from our template. So whatever changes we make, accidental or not, whatever happens, our template is still gonna remain intact and untouched. So this is always a good practice to do this when you first start your project. So the next thing to do is to look at where your auto saves are and where they're stored. So you can do this in various ways. So you can go to file and you can go to project settings and then go into scratch disks. You can go into general or scratch disks. Either one will get you to the same place eventually. So in our scratch disks section, this is where all of our footage and other parts of the video program are gonna go. So we've got our captured video, audio, video previews, audio previews and project auto save. So this is the important one. So at the moment, this is set to same as project. Now, if you want to set this to something different to a USB drive or another area of your hard drive, you can do that by just clicking on the browse button and choosing a location on your computer. 
and it's all good. But I generally like to keep things all same as a project. I've made a new folder, so everything can go in that new folder. And when I'm finished with it, I can just move that whole folder as one item and put it into my finished bin. So that is where my uh, automatic savings or project auto saves are gonna end up being. So that is that part of it. So the next part is actually configuring your auto saves. So if we go into edit and then go into preferences and then we wanna drill down the menu until we get to auto save. Now in our auto save section, we've got some options which we can choose. So I've got it ticked, so automatically save projects. If this isn't ticked on your version, I would strongly suggest you do that now. And this is where you can automatically save every certain amount of minutes. So the default I believe is probably about 20 or 30 minutes. Now, if you're doing an edit and you're chopping up a lot of footage, chances are you're gonna be doing a lot of changes in probably two or three minutes. So I would say three minutes is probably your minimum. Anything more than that, and you risk having to redo a lot of footage. Now also, if um, depending on how long you take to edit a video, generally when I edit a video, it'll take me about half an hour to an hour. So what I try and do is make it so that I've got enough saves for that particular length of my edit. So in this case, obviously three times 20 is an hour. So I've got 20 project versions. Now when one of those is actually overwritten, or so I get to like section 21 or project 21, it will just overwrite the first one. So it'll only keep 20 versions of the project in the folder. So it's not gonna get massively big file sizes. And also because these files are essentially like a database, they only provide references, not the actual footage itself. So the actual file sizes are pretty small. So I've set mine to save every three minutes. Obviously you can choose whichever you want. So change that to two minutes and click okay. And that's it. So every two minutes now, automatically this project will be saved to the autosave. So if there's a crash, blue screen of death, uh, anything goes wrong, you can go back and you can do file and you can do either open recent or you can go completely the other way and close all of this down and then just go to your Premiere autosave folder. Now in this case, I'm gonna go into my project. So I'm in test two and inside my folder, my project folder, I've now got my Adobe Premiere autosave and there's my autosave. So I can double click on that and that will take me back into exactly where I was. Now the default locations for this will be different on various systems, but essentially if you do go open up Adobe Premiere, as we did, so we'll open up Adobe Premiere. And if you wanna find out where your auto saves are, you don't actually have to open up the same project. You can just go in there and go into project settings go into general or scratch disks and you can see where your folders are. Now, Project Autosave it gives you the exact path there. So you can go in and get it that way. Some people will find that this is gonna be in the C drive underneath their user profile, documents, Adobe, and then wherever. So it will be different from system to system, but this is where you can find out where your actual save path is. So there we go, there is a quick intro into the Adobe Premiere autosave feature, how to configure it to suit you best, and also some of my personal best practices to uh, maintain and manage those folders and folder structures. If you've got any uh, other suggestions or comments, or let me know how you do it. What is your preferred setup, or how do you keep your projects separate and keep your autosaves to hand at all times? Let me know in the comments, I'll be really interested to know. But in the meantime, I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.